shout out. What up, sports fans? It's who banging sports talk? Who oh, banging? Right here chilling. So, Mountain West Week Three breakdown. Hey, make sure you uh, like, subscribe, share, and also leave some comments about you know last week's breakdown if it was helpful or hurtful, whatever. And this week's breakdown. First, I got a small disclaimer too. Uh, as we all know, as cappers, you know, some of you new out here or whatever, you might not know that everybody has their own angles. Everybody has their own betting style True. and everything. Me, myself, I'm not too much of a stat guy. I watch the teams. I watch the players. I watch the trends. I like watching the actual games, gathering information. And I do my research and look at the past history sometimes, watch some highlights. So I'm not the stat guy. You're not going to hear me really shout out a lot of players, and especially in college football, unless they're just like uh, like a Saquon Barkley type, just like a man child, just man child. Like thing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go ahead and get into this Mountain West 3 breakdown. We're going to start off in the mountain with Boise State. Boise State last week, 62-7, to home victory over UConn, easy money. This week's a little bit tougher for them as they get Oklahoma State. The line is set at 3. So this is going to be the first date for these two and a true test for both teams because they both kind of uh, play, you know, some decent games coming up. And, you know, both of them have a solid air attack. They've been scoring a lot of points in these games, playing whoever. Um, right off tops, if you add up the stats, it looks like over, over, over. Yeah. But I say keep a good line watch. Watch the under. Two positives equals a negative. Mm. It's going to be under. And if you got to choose a side... Boise State uh, quarterback, Big Brett, he does look like the better one in the QB matchup. Let's move on to Utah State. Last week, 60-13 home win over New Mexico State. This week, they gathered Tennessee Tech on a Thursday. So, break it down. You know, last week's uh, stake and strength plate that they had of New Mexico State was a good one. After the Michigan loss, they kind of deserved that. They played hard in the Michigan game. You know, they had to eat a little bit. Yeah. And uh, this week, they're going to be ordering the same meal, the steak and shrimp plate. And it's going to work like it did last week. But following this week for a matchup, they go up against a well-rested Air Force. So, ain't really uh, pulled out a line on that one yet. But look forward to that game. Yeah. Next up, we got Wyoming. Wyoming last week, 13-40 to 40 road loss to SSC's Missouri. You know, they started off with a good, tough fight and... You know, once all them pounds kick in and, you know, it kind of wore off on them. So they lost 13-40. This week, they get a little squeeze ball in Wolford. You know, not much to say about this team. It's been a tough one and two for Wyoming. This week, they come into a nice little first day rodeo with this Wolford team. And um, before a well-rested week four by is what they're going to get after this game. So... Uh, Wyoming should go off on a nice note, um, nothing much to say, but look for them to take a rest, get regrouped and head back on into the mountain. Next, we got Air Force. Last week, they took a low loss to Florida Atlantic. Tough game for Air Force. Uh, I thought they were going to be do the most damage in the first half, which I was highly on in the first half, but also was on the under, and the under did cash, but... Uh, Air Force waited to the second half to go for a run for it, you know, only lost by a touchdown, you know, uh, you know, did a fairly good job, but they get a bye this week. Yeah. So Colorado State last week, 34-27 home win against Arkansas out the SEC. This week, they're on the road out to Florida. Mm -hmm. Now, late in the second half, Colorado State turned around last week's game against the SEC opponent oh. Arkansas. This week, his opponent's a little much bigger in so many ways than in Florida. Right. So get that ram away from that lake, because that gator might bite you. Bite me! But without, not, without a foul, well, not, not without a fight, be looking for the under the cash in the first half. Both teams had slow starts in the first half in all the games that they played. So I'm going to keep it like that and go under the first half on that game. Last out the mountain is New Mexico. Last week they had a 14-45 low road loss to Wisconsin. Yeah. This week they go to see New Mexico State. Yes. Yeah. So minus five. This is a crosstown rival from the Rio Grande. 109th meeting between the two. New Mexico owns the meeting. Yeah. 70, 33, and five pushes. But 
they had a close one last year. Nine players on the defense come back from New Mexico State. They might just have a bad taste in their mouth and remember what happened for last year. So I am scared to lay the little points. It's only five. But I would take uh, New Mexico on the money line. You know, they own the series. They look like they're on another level as a team. And not looking back, they're looking forward. So, you know. They the big brother. I'm going to go ahead and go with New Mexico. So, I'm going to move on over to the West. What's up? And I'm going to take a look at Fresno State. Last week, Fresno State lost to Minnesota. Minnesota was a tough team. It was a really tough game. This week, they go to see UCLA. Fresno State is minus uh, one and a half going into this game. So, Fresno State is on a 2-0 streak against UCLA in their series. But the last time they seen each other was in 2008. Fresno State played a tough game against a good team last week in Minnesota. But UCLA has played much better quality teams. They play Cincy, and they play Oklahoma. And the schedule doesn't do nothing but get tougher for UCLA as it heads up. So I think this here is a good spot for Kelly to get in there and get a victory home for UCLA. And I'm going to go ahead and take that one and a half, and I'm going to take UCLA. That makes sense to me, too. Yeah, so San Diego State up next. They had a home win last week against Sacramento State. I'm not a fan of uh, these Division One schools and stuff, playing these little small schools, but... You know, last one last week was a 28 to 14 home win. This week they draw Arizona State. Woo ha! I like that Arizona State team. You know, San Diego State hasn't proved to be tough after the loss to Stanford and barely winning against Sacramento State 28 14. This Arizona team is the meaning of physical and tough. Right. San Diego State won last year, but this is a new, improved Arizona State. I'm riding with the Sun Devils. I'll take Arizona State by 20. Wow. Next up, we got UCL, UNLV. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're a little gone out here. Even, See Jesus, you even Jesus had one. Come on. Peace. Man. Love and hope. But we got UNLV. UNLV last week, 52 to 24 home win over Utah. That was nice. Yeah. This week, they drove. Over oh, Utah? That wasn't nice. That was Utah nice. sucks ass. 52 points. Anytime you put up 52 points, that's a nice game. Utah sucks ass. Which you one? Hey, which you want to put 80? Fuck that. <laughs> this, <laughs> week, <laughs> this week, they uh, home to see Prairie View a &M. That's even worse. But, you know, can't look past last week's matchup. Uh, Prairie View can score, but so can you do LB. This is the second day for these two since the 1970s. Fourth year coach Sanchez should show progression here as he's been going bit by bit to get this team together. Mm -hmm. And UCLA should pull out, I mean, UNLV, I'm sorry, UNLV should pull that one off. Yeah, they should, though. Yeah, so next over to Nevada. Nevada 41 to 10 road loss to Vandy last week. We called it here on the show. Mm -hmm. This week they go to see Oregon State. The line is Oregon State minus two. Not much to say about these two one and one teams. This could be a defining moment for either one of them. So I'm off that game. San Jose State last week, 0 to 31 loss to Washington State. Blah, blah. This week they draw Oregon. Wow. They're going to get blown Hey, I don't see the bright side to this San Jose team. Everything spells terrible. Nothing but space and opportunity for Oregon. And right. they should take them down pretty bad. You know, hang in there, San Jose State. You know, be safe. <laughs> you know, Make sure you got your chin strap on. And uh, make sure you had that little butt pad in. You know, you're <laughs> going to be getting hit a lot. But that much to say about San Jose. Last but not least, we go over to Hawaii. Hawaii last week was a 43-29 to home win against Rice. Rice, an okay team. Yeah. This week, they draw Army. And uh, Hawaii is looking nice at 3-0. This will be a good spot. Right. But I'm not too on military teams this year. Military teams in the past have been very predictable. Like, you can predict them to play good defense. You can predict them to be disciplined. You, you predict them, you know, to do what they do. But these new military teams are a little different. Like, you know, they... they They're they, still millennials. Yeah, probably. Or something. I don't know what it is. But fact of the matter is, I'm off all military games to further notice. Yeah. And that's my Mount West uh, breakdown of the week. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to the low bag, my man Jimmy. You know, all my low baggers. I told y'all I do this breakdown. I'm gonna continue to do what I do, man. We got week four coming up. This is week three. We love y'all out there. Money game. What okay. up, King Real? What up, Red Girl? What up, uh, 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 Cable Guy? What up?
Grab a little pan, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 